linear equation is recognizable if it's in the format of y equals mx plus b, uh, where y is directly proportionate to x. And in this equation, m is equal to the slope and b is equal to the y-intercept. A linear table is recognizable when the first difference is constant, like for example in this table, the first difference is always 3. This table also shows a constant percent growth. A linear graph is recognizable because the line on the graph looks like this. For those of us who aren't that creative and need to see a more specific looking graph, this is what a real linear graph looks like and you can see that there's a straight line and a constant slope and in this graph the y-intercept is 1 and the slope is constant and the line is straight therefore it is a linear function a quadratic equation is recognizable if x is squared for example y equals x squared a quadratic table is recognizable because all the values are symmetrical as are the first difference columns and the second difference column is constant. For example, our, my second difference column is constantly twos and the first difference column goes 5, 3, 1, 1, 3, 5 and the main column goes 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9 and that is symmetrical. Here. This is what a parabola looks like in a quadratic function. This is an example of a quadratic graph because it's in the shape of a parabola and there is a minimum but no maximum. Uh, also, a quadratic graph can have two x-intercepts but only one y-intercept. A parabola is kind of like a bouncing ball because like a quadratic function or parabola, the bouncing ball goes up and then it comes back down again. You can recognize an exponential function formula because uh, the equation will always be to the x power or to the power of x or x will be the exponent. Uh, yeah. The equation for this table is 2 to the x power. Uh, I know that this is an exponential table because of the constant first difference um, constant multiple, which is times 2 each time. This is an example of an exponential graph because it has an exponential curve. An example of exponential growth is if there is one parent who has two children, and then each of those two children has two more children. That's one set of two children, and that's another set of two children. And that is exponential growth because uh, uh, each parent continues to have two children and eventually there will be lots of multiples of two children. I know this equation is rational because y is equal to a number divided by x. So in an equation where any number is divided by x, that is a rational equation. This is a rational table because as x grows smaller, y grows larger. Uh, as you can see, it goes from negative to positive, and this graph line will never meet zero, so zero is the asymptote. This is an example of a rational graph. This is because it never crosses the x or y lines. Zero is the asymptote. It is a square hyperbola and there's a double curve that is reflected and mirrored on opposite sides. Rational property! An absolute value equation is recognizable because 
y will equal x in the absolute value bracket. An absolute value table is recognizable because all the numbers will be positive and they will be a reflection of each other, no matter whether the x column is negative or positive. An absolute value graph is recognizable because it will always be in the shape of a V and each side will reflect the other side. Absolute value!